Welcome back to Curiosity 180. Today we're going to talk about the Asian flush and cancer. Asian flush is not when Asian people go to the bathroom. Asian flush happens to certain people of Asian descent after they've consumed alcohol. In fact, recent scientific studies have suggested that people that experience the Asian flush after drinking alcoholic beverages are at high risk for developing esophageal cancer, one of the deadliest cancers in the world. The common symptoms that we associate with the Asian flush is redness of the face and other areas of the body, sensations of itchiness or heat coming from areas of redness, nausea, and headaches. Now, the Asian flush affects about 36% of Northeast Asians, primarily Chinese, Japanese, and Koreans. The Asian flush is due to the body detecting a threat and triggering an immune response. When people drink alcohol, the liver has to break down a chemical called ethanol. The liver does this using two enzymes. First, ADH reacts with the ethanol molecule to create a substance called acetaldehyde. Now, acetaldehyde is the threat. It is a mutagen and an animal carcinogen that causes DNA damage and cancer-promoting effects. The second enzyme, ALDH2, turns acetaldehyde into acetate, which is essentially just vinegar. However, the problem arises when people have a mutated ALDH2 gene. The result of this gene mutation is an inactive ALDH2 enzyme. Therefore, people with this mutation accumulate acetaldehyde at a level about six times higher than normal people. The red face and headaches associated with the Asian flush is the least of your worries because ALDH2 deficient people have an increased chance of developing esophageal cancer. The tissues in the upper aerodigestive tract, UADT, are most vulnerable to the carcinogenic effects of alcohol because acetaldehyde levels are 10 to 20 times higher in saliva than they are in blood. In fact, after moderate alcohol consumption, the acetaldehyde in saliva of ALDH2 deficient people is two to three times higher than compared to normal people. So if you have Asian flush, just be careful when you're drinking and listen to the warning signs your body is sending. Thank you once again for tuning in to Curiosity 180. We hope you learned something today, and for all you Asian viewers, perhaps we may have even saved your life. If you've got suggestions for future shows, post them in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. 